Hello Redditors, welcome back to Tales Against Humanity. Now, let's get started. In today's episode. One in a million. All right, so I work at the office of a large auto parts warehouse that also control around 50 company-owned auto repair shops, as well as around 75 franchise shops on the east coast of USA. I am the sole IT guy for the entire company. I handle anything with a cord. Computers, phones, servers, printers, anything. I never intended on becoming IT support for any company, but a spinal injury that forced me to retire from being a mechanic forced my hand. So here I am, I have a lot of experience with computers, servers act, but not on the corporate level. Turns out neither are they. This place is held together by the hopes and dreams of management and ducted tape. It's a real shit show. My first question when I got hired in was what sort of backups are you doing in case something happens to the server? And they considered it to be a non-issue and had no backups in place. On any level. So I'm learning how everything works. What switches control what and how the software they use works when two weeks after I hire in the main server dies. Consumer SSD from five years ago begins to fail. It's causing BSOD and complete system freezing. I start painstakingly recovering files as fast as I can in between crashes, but some of it is lost forever. I get the machine running again and get the software reinstalled. Four months go by and we're having random little issues with the server until BSOD for random driver errors. Turns out the little GPU they had installed was failing. The cooling fan was going bad and would stop spinning causing the system to crash. Between the random crashing we lost even more data. So last week or so we're trying everything we can to get anything back because it's like $5 million in accounts that owed money to the company for parts. I just happened to pick up an old machine in the warehouse and storage to clean it up. Look over it to see if it's usable and possibly put it back in service when I notice, on the desktop, a fucking .zip file. It was a compressed backup of everything from two years and before for our records. The stuff we lost. I shouted with joy when I found it and immediately made a backup of that file. Saved the company literal millions of dollars from a machine that was headed for the recycling bin. Edit after the big crash, I convinced them to have off-site redundant backups of all company data. Story 2. Nobody listens. As part of a branding change to move to the new company name and logo my main job was to change about 100 XML files which are template files for things like orders, sales, invoices, etc. Most of the changes were changing the logo and color from red to blue so basically one big find and replace exercise. Done them all and tested as many as I could. Some of these templates might not get used very often so it's difficult to get it 100% perfect. All went live last week very happy with the result nothing major went wrong and no errors. As part of this job I asked everyone in logistics to bring me any files that looked wrong for example colors, logo, I even got the manager of logistics to repeat the same message which I know they did. This week had the same person bring me a couple of files with bits of red on them. I asked them how come only they had been in and why nobody else in logistics had done the same. The person's response was that people had just left them on the printer or bin them, and they even said they had got some out of the bin to bring to me because they knew I needed to sort them. The department has about 30 people working in it, and only one out of the 30 people actually listened and helped me out. I obviously thanked them for helping and asked them to keep bringing any more errors in and also see if they could persuade their colleagues to do the same. Maybe a good example of a social experiment to show people who actually take pride in their work and listen. The whole thing has made me a bit more cynical about our user. Base than I already was. Story 3. Why happens when you leave your window open? So I was the one receiving the tech support rather than giving it. Our support is based in India. I work in Scotland. While navigating the painfully fiddly way we have to adjust incorrect payment details the chap over the Zoom call started shouting at someone in the room, I didn't think much of it as many folks still work from home and need to shout to kids, pets, etc. When the guy comes back to the phone he was all apologetic and states quite matter-of-factly that he'd had to shoo a monkey out of the office. Now this was a statement I'd never heard and certainly never experienced so I wanted to know more about the monkey invader. Sadly he declined to comment more other than it's just what happens sometimes if you leave your windows open. 
it was definitely my most interesting tech call to date. Story 4. It's like herding cats but for thoughts. User, I've been in customer for what feels like forever. I have all the devices and three tablets. Me, put in your unlock code. User, cold sweats. User, what's that? Um, is that the password I use when banking? Me, no the unlock code is the code you use every day to unlock your device. User, I have three of those unlock codes on this device, which one do I use? Me, dying inside. User, I've tried all three and they aren't working. Me, not a problem, we can reset. User, what about trying the first one me, you said they weren't work. User, okay, but how about the first one? Me, sure try the first one. User, fails. Me, all right, how about we? User, I actually haven't tried the first one yet. Me, then what was that we just tried? User, wait I'm looking at my email on this page and my email has a capital letter, but I don't see that here. How do I fix that? Seven minute later during which I have to explain that capitalization doesn't matter on the email and lie and pretend that somehow the system read the capitals wrong and it's completely impossible to change it. Me. Okay, so how about we get to the unlock code? User unlocks device. Me. Did you know this code the whole time? User. Oh, that code. Yeah, I know the sliding code. Me. What's the sliding? Never mind. Have a good day.